Mr. Speaker, I speak here today as a father of two lovely daughters whom I'd like to see grow, become leaders like the way God has blessed me. What I witness today, Mr. Speaker, is something which negates that dreams if we do not stand and to be counted. What I've witnessed today, Mr. Speaker, is this Senate being reduced into being an internal audit. Mr. Speaker, the lawyers presented something which negates the public audit tax section 31, which is quite clear on the process of audit. Mr. Speaker, sir, article 228 section 5 is very clear. It says the control of budget shall not authorize any withdrawal of funds from the county revenue fund unless she's satisfied that that withdrawal is authorized by law. Mr. Speaker, sir, we've been entertained by a charade of just nuendos. There was nothing that you can be able to prove. I am a member, I'm a ranking member of the Senate Public Accounts Committee, and I know the process. I know what IFMIS is. I know the PFM Act, Section 153, 103, establishes a county, uh, county treasury, and it puts in the treasurer or the CMC as the head of that fund. Mr. Speaker, sir, I sat down here, and to be honest with you, when I, wit when I watched those videos, something came to my mind. And I said, you know what? That conference of 1885 in Berlin conference was ill-advised. The British should, just le should have just left us with our uncouth and civilized behaviors. To see a honorable member, someone who calls himself a honorable member, walking across the streets of our civilized nation, what we call civilized, and saying that certain weapons or certain tools should be used to be able to punish a woman. It's uncouth and uncivilized, and shame on them. Mr. Speaker, sir, I have gone through the seven allegations, and none of them, Mr. Speaker, sir, has been substantiated. We are being, we are being introduced, we are being invited, Mr. Speaker, sir, to get into a conflict of manhood and womanhood. Mr. Speaker, sir, I second the sentiments of the majority leader when he said that it's about time that if these people of, these leaders of Meru cannot get their act together, we might as well call a commission of inquiry to suspend that county. It is ridiculous, Mr. Speaker, sir, and we cannot allow this Senate to be reduced to that. Mr. Speaker, sir, we should know better.